my dear professional colleagues this is rv shekhar practicing company secretary in this video i am going to discuss about an interesting topic no removal of disqualification of directors say supreme court upholding the special leave petition filed by mca during january 2020 however on july 2 2020 that's in this month mca removed the disqualification of a director in pursuant to the order of high court of gujarat how how this has happened what is the problem what is the issue how this contradiction has come that is the main core of the core subject of this video what is disqualification of a director section 164 of the companies act 2013 subsection 3 provides that the circumstances under the which a director can be disqualified number 2 no person who who is or has been a director of the company which has not filed financial statements or annual returns for any continuous period of 3 financial years or shall not be eligible to be reappointed as a director of that company or appointed in any other company for a period of 5 years from the data on which the said company fails to do so so MC, mca notification for disqualification of directors in 2017 the ministry of corporate affairs mca passed a notification by which all the arendan companies had to be strike off and the directors of these companies were held to be disqualified however many high courts ruled against this on ag agreed by this uh, order mcas notification many companies many disqualified directors appealed to the high courts filed writ petition in the high courts and uh, many high courts in india ruled against the mca order about the disqualification of directors bombay high court on disqualification of director a division bench comprising of judicial members for hearing the petition in regards to the disqualification of directors due to failure to file an annual return following the orders were passed by the bench of judicial of bombay high companies which are struck off under the provisions of the section 248 of the act its directors are not stated to be disqualified note their directors are not stated to be disqualified section 248 gives the power to register of companies to remove the name of the companies writ petitions are allowed for the cases in which the director is disqualified for financial years before 1st april 2014 and this reckoned for continuous three financial years the writ petition is allowed for the disqualification occurred under the provision of the old act that is companies act 1956 din numbers of those directors will be restored whose disqualification is squashed by this court so the, so those directors who have been uh, held as a directors in the under the estoil companies act if they have been disqualified then this uh, i could uh, squash down that orders and uh, uh, order the rest restorement of their din numbers these those disqualification occurred for the continuous 3 years financial years after first 2014 remains disqualified so after 2014 any disqualification order made by the mca will be will be maintained what various high court observed in the disqualification many writ petitions were filed against the mca orders throughout india length and breadth in several high courts in which judgments were passed which are enumerated for you hyderabad high court ordered to restore the din number of the directors so that they can file their pending annual returns bombay high court passed an interim order under which directors were no longer disqualified bombay high court also directed the roc to accept physical documents by struck off companies to treat such application as voluntary striking off similar judge, such judgments were passed by the delhi high court rajasthan high court as well special leave petition in supreme court however recently supreme court has admitted a petition by filed by mca an slp petition special leave petition and stay the orders passed by the various high courts in about 2000 cases relating to the matter during january 2020 the supreme court of india has passed an order upon special leave petition of the mca upholding the decision of the mca and squashing the decision of all the high court. 
on july 2 2020 so there is now the contradiction now comes in the recent judgment order by issued by mca roc ahmedabad where mca removed disqualification of a particular director by order of the gujarat high court so mc update july 2 2020 List of disqualified directors under section 164 2A dated 2 2nd July 2020 and the office of the Register of Companies Ahmedabad. There were 10,512 records uh, of uh, disqualification of directors. Uh, there are 10,512 directors where we have been disqualified under a one gazette order and the serial only one number serial number 230 has been removed from the disqualification by the honorable high court of gujarat during the first week of july 2020 in pursuit to the order passed by the honorable high court of gujarat the name of the director mr niman biswal has been removed from the list of disqualified director directing the roc ahmedabad to restore his din number disqualification period 111 2016 to 3110-2021. This is very interesting uh, development when on, on one hand Supreme Court no for restoration of disqualification of director on the same hand the Gujarat High Court like in July 2020 now ordered to restore a name of a director from the disqual dis from disqualification of the director. So this is a this is a very interesting cases and let us see how the this has to be uh, approached by the ROC because already ROC issued a gazette notification. Let us see how the stakeholders and the other stakeholders are going to use this avenue. Thanking friends, thanking you for viewing my video. For uh, Please like it, please share it and uh, also please uh, I request you to s uh, subscribe my video. So uh, further I request you to put your comments on this comment section of this video because this is a very interesting case. There is a two contradiction between Supreme Court decision and a recent decision by Gujarat High Court. Thanking you once again very much.